For the past few years, we have witnessed amazing progress in both facial restoration and colorization. With the advancements in AI tech, more and more solutions have been used to restore facial structure through AI facial synthesis, as well as producing accurate colorization in the meantime. To show you a simple timeline of the progress of AI image restoration, it all started with some simple image super resolution and progressed into image colorization by training the AI with black and white and colored images, then restoring faces by parts with DFDNet, followed by Microsoft proposing another method to restore physical damage of an image while GPAN showed up to destroy any other facial upscaling photo restoration AIs. This time, however, a certain AI research have shown up and did something GPAN couldn't master accurate and realistic facial colorization. This task has been shown to be a huge obstacle to overcome as generating the right colors for faces cannot be easily achieved and it wouldn't look natural especially with colorization AIs. And that certain research is called time travel rephotography. This amazing research has finally released their codes after one whole year since its paper has been published. It was highly speculated that the research results were cherry picked because just look at how good these official demos are. The quality is insane and it's just unreal what AI restoration does compared to other research years ago. And fortunately, the codes and results reproducibility were as good as they looked. For them to be able to generate clean results with very natural looking colorization, by projecting the input images back into the latent space inside StyleGen, it will be able to generate a similar face to the input face. But usually, it's not exactly the same. By using this sibling face as a reference for colorization, it will give the reconstructed face much less trouble generating high quality colorization of the resulting face through techniques similar to style transfer. With a very clean last touch by simulating the degraded images, it generates much more realistic results compared to those without the degraded simulation. In that smart, the graded simulation has a very important role when it comes to practically using the AI too. We would also need to specify the right spectral sensitivity, ranging from blue sensitive, orthochromatic, or panchromatic. I had the most luck using panchromatic for most of my own test results and sometimes I feel like blue sensitive just want to scare me like how it generated this DALI version of Slenderman. Camera blur can also be specified too but the impact wouldn't be as obvious. On the other hand, I am very impressed by its accuracy of coloring different skin colors and in some cases, even realistic paintings can be turned into real faces too. Onto the limitations, it is very often that physical damage would be easily interpreted as facial features like pimples or freckles, and unique facial features like Dali's mustache would not be successfully regenerated. Side faces still prove to be difficult as they also pointed out in their official presentation. The eyes easily pop out or become uneven in some cases. It also cannot handle lower resolution upscalings. So if you provide any image that is slightly low in quality, then the result wouldn't be as clean as you think it will be. But what you could do instead though, is to upscale the face with either GPEN or DFDNet first, then restore its color with rephotography. The result will look much cleaner too. And rephotography itself converts the input image into black and white first, then colorize it it's based on its sibling image. So if the input already has colors, unfortunately the original color would not be guaranteed. What's interesting is that this realism in its colorization process can really be fascinating when animated with deep nostalgia. This is literally like bringing history back to life and just a more... <laughs> papers down the line, we can actually revive an army of historical figures, speaking and moving with realistic colorization without the need of any human labor. So if you also want to try out this photo colorization yourself or learn more about this research paper, I'll link their collab to run it online and their official explainer in the description. If you want to learn more about AI in general, today's sponsor Skillshare actually has it for you. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. You can freely explore new skills, deepen existing passions and have fun with your creativity. And after this video, you probably have a lot of questions on what exactly AI is, machine learning, or whatever this mystical and futuristic technology is. If you're not, there is actually a class called Demystifying Artificial Intelligence, Understanding Machine Learning by Christian Hellman, which provides a really great introduction on the topic of AI. The lessons aren't that long either, so you can easily go through them during your free time. What's even better is that they are currently also providing a limited time offer of one month free premium trial instead of the usual two weeks. 
which provides you plenty of time to go through these short lessons and even if you're done with that class you can also check out their other amazing ad free and high quality creative classes like photography illustrations and video editing the first 1000 people to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today and lastly thank you for watching a big shout out to andrew Pencil Modern and many other patrons and members that support my work through Patreon and YouTube. If you have any questions, feel free to join my Discord too. Follow my Twitter if you haven't, and I'll see you all in the next one.